Hi guys, Cliff here. Okay, so right in front of you is the N-Real. The N-Real glasses. The N-Real light developer kit. And in here, we have glasses. We have a Snapdragon compute pack from Qualcomm. We have an N-Real controller. And we have USB-C cords. What happened is, I did a little Twitter contest, and I won the Unreal. So right now I'm going to unbox it for you because I'm just so excited to unbox it. And at the show, I did the demo, one of them the zombie demo, and uh, the screen is the clearest that there is because it's two OLED Sony uh, 1080p's that are sitting on top of the glasses up on the brow that are mirrored down. And none of this, none of the other, the HoloLens 2 and anything else, uh, looks very holo, hologram looking, uh, not vivid, not clear, blurry. And so this is the device. Now look at this. First of all, the box is incredible. Second, it comes with a case for free. And cool stickers. See? <laughs> So, and then we got a little instruction booklet here. Quick start guide. You turn on the, the, the unit, the puck. You turn on the controller. Uh, you fit, fit your best fitting nose pad. You tether the glasses to the compute unit with USB-C. And they're gonna have the USB-C on both ends because of the feedback some uh, optical engineers talked about in AR. And then you can use the controller has it, it, like a mouse and like a mouse pad with a touch pad. And then you just enjoy it. And then the developer kit is really simple also. And so you uh, can just sign up the developer kit. You can, they have an emulator now. You can test with it. And then, um, and then you just develop it in Unity. And Unity is so simple. So now the other thing is that we're talking about um, accessories. So I saw a presentation at AWS and uh, Chizu of the, the founder of Unreal, he said that for now it's only available with this unit, the this, this Snapdragon unit, the puck, or it's just becoming available where you can just tether it to a Snapdragon phone. But he said that soon in the future, that they're going to upgrade the device maybe to, you know, the second version, since this is really only the full first developer kit version, that they're going to, uh, look at this thing, it's so beautiful, it's incredible. So what he said is that it's going to be available on almost all phones. <laughs> so not just a Snapdragon, but soon enough, any phone could just plug into this with a USB-C. So it's really incredible, and I'm going to unbox the rest of it, but before I do, the other amazing thing is that he said that the accessories aren't going to be tied down to just having to buy in real accessories, which other companies are doing. So what they're going to do is they're going to make it so that you can get gaming controllers and devices from all sorts of manufacturers in consumer electronics. And opening up the software and the product to allow a collaboration and partnership with other consumer electronics manufacturers, I think is a great move. So here it is, and I'm just stunned, and I just can't believe I have this. And this is just the lightest and smallest augmented reality glasses that are out there. So basically, there are four sensors two cam there's a camera basically a video camera and there's a uh, the slam so it's a simultaneous location of mapping and basically uh that's what maps the room so they're like infrared sensors basically but i mean look at this and look at this I mean, this is just crazy small it's unbelievable it's like a miracle this is the new miracle device right here okay and then it comes with a nice USB cord. The next version is going to have the USB-C on both ends. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Two Sony OLED 
HD 1080p screens that come that, that mirror down into the glasses. And this is just, look how small this is. It's just unbelievable, okay? Look at this. I mean, this is just form factor right here. This is wearable. And without, you know, looking funny. And so then here, nice little cleaning cloth. Here we have the puck, it's, and it's magnetic. So this is a full-on Snapdragon Qualcomm chip in here, basically. But you won't need this because you could just plug it into like my Samsung S10 phone. So I, this is the, the pack and the charger, and this is the controller. And it's just magnetic. And it's just the design is very intelligent here. So then we have a plug here, and we have some nose bridges. So they give you multiple nose bridges here, so if you have different size. And then here, um, I believe those are prescription in, an insert. So they have, their, or they're going to have it where you can actually pick the prescription insert you need if you have glasses. And half of America, 300 you know, million people, half of them, about 150 million people wear glasses. So uh, the other devices don't really work that great with glasses. So uh, you, can, uh, you can actually fit thin glasses in here, but with this, uh, you'll be able to get your prescription for the uh, the Enreal. So that's pretty much it right now. That's all I really wanted to go over. So I've started to develop on Unity with this. I actually started developing on Unity with this with the uh, long ago, and uh, they just came out with that emulator a little while back too. So you can you can too. So go to un go to Enreal dot com and get your glasses quick before they sell out of this second wave. They send the first developer wave. They're sending the second developer wave now and uh, you want to get in the first wave. So it's just amazing. They're at the MIT 2020 hack, the MIT uh, VR AR hackathon right now. And uh, they're also in Germany and UK and Japan and Korea and it's just an excellent unit and when it's a great unit they do all their marketing right they get the positive press sentiment and the people like it and it's the lightest smallest best form factor and the clearest most vivid hd screen then it just makes sense that it's just a win-win and it's a win for everyone and then the price that uh, uh the word on the street is that it could be a uh, 4.99 which is unbelievable when the other ones are, you know, two thousand dollars or three thousand, four thousand dollars for a Hololens, and you can't get those because they, the Hololens, they uh, basically only give like to top enterprise people about, you know, a few of them uh, because they're just not selling them to the regular developers, and they probably won't till at least June of 2020, at least six months from now. So. It just makes sense that this is the best unit and the unit to develop on now. So I would urge everyone to go get the Enreal right now. You can get up in the third wave. And uh, and then soon, hopefully, what may happen is that if they get a carrier like Verizon, then this could be available in the stores by June or the fall or Christmas. And then also you'd be able to just attach it to, say, your phone like your Samsung S10 or your Snapdragon. So, I went to CES in Las Vegas 2020, and it really gave me the dev kit and a pair of glasses, because uh, I won a contest on Twitter, where everyone did a little Twitter contest at their booth. So I'm very happy about that. So I'm one of the few people in the entire world that has my hands on the hottest mixed reality, augmented reality glasses that are out there in the entire world. As you can see here, I have two Magic Leaps. Magic Leap gave me those. I have Bose AR glasses, which isn't e AR even, they just claim to be AR. It has a little bit of spatial audio to connect to Google Assistant, Amazon. I have my old Google Glass back there. 
and I have a Vuzix right there. So I've been around the block with augmented reality and mixed reality for a while, and I was one of the first to show everybody in 2018, August 2018, and then also all through to now and the entire XR LA group, the Magic Leap glasses. However, here the Enreal. Now let me go through all this, okay? Enreal is doing everything right, doing all the marketing right. So I've seen the whole landscape. The problem is that um, these companies, these AR and these VR people, they keep wanting to push this technology that's not really ready yet, I guess, and, and won't be ready for a while. And it's nice to at least get it out to the public, but then if you're not gonna market it right, and you're not gonna sell it right, then what's the point? I mean, I, I know there's many other reasons beside that, but it would make sense that if you put out a product to the public and to developers that you'd want to sell it and have people want to buy it and that you would want to market it right. And also, the news and the public sentiment. So that's the great thing about the Unreal, is this is the first time ever in augmented and mixed reality that there has been a good sentiment in the news media, in the international media. So I was just at the Consumer Electronics Show 2020, saw all the innovations, 200 of them, interviewed them all for four hours, two days before CS, at the CS Unveiled. And I have to tell you that Enreal is a nice guy from China who got his PhD in America, and uh, he wants to bring uh, mixed reality to the people at a small price and the best quality. And so I fully support people like that and entrepreneurs. The other thing is that it's all based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon chip and Qualcomm is in San Diego. And I have an iPhone and I have a Samsung S10 5G and my S10 5G that I'm recording you from is the absolute best phone I've ever had in my life. And I love Korea, and Korea is innovating, and they're taking over America, even more than China, except for TikTok and Musical.ly apps. But uh, Korea is the best innovator in the world right now, I would say. Although, I saw an enormous amount of people that won the CES Innovation Award were all from Paris and France. So France is doing a lot of dominating um, also in innovation and some Germany, but really at CS it was um, basically France was just killing it. So aside from that though, and Korea, let's just talk about the Unreal. So first of all, not only did they come out about a little over a year ago, let's say, um, it's 2020 January now. They were at CES this year and last year. So they were at CES in uh, 2019 in January. So then they announced this in real. They announced this way back in around December or November of 2018. So that was the first thing. They announced it in 2018 in, say, November, December, or even earlier. And then they were at the Consumer Electronics Show, the International Consumer Electronics Show, which is the only place to be now because it's insane with unlimited amount. Of, there's eight conferences there separate from CES now. So this is no way you can do it all. But I got most of it. So for them just to have a presence and be at CES an entire year ago in 2019 to showcase a product, that, that makes a lot of clout. And for them to have San Diego Qualcomm fully actually in, on their presentations and completely backing this company, that is a big deal, okay? So Qualcomm San Diego has the Snapdragon chip that's in my S10 phone, and it is just so powerful and great. Plus they're coming out with the next chip, which is the XR for XR and AR, and it's just even smaller and faster. So right here, this in real, they had a, a good showing at 2019 CES in January of 2019. And then they started to make the device available for the pre-order last fall 
of fall 2019. All this is very intelligent marketing, okay? So then, Faco and Do CES in 2020, and they were the number one at the show, okay? That booth was packed for days, and and everyone was liking it. And then all the news sentiment was incredible, saying this is the best thing, we're so happy, it's so great, it's so light. And we're talking there's only five to ten internationally known tech journalists that are writing for the main sources out there. So you're not hearing much information, really, uh, on the mainstream. And so for them to put out good sentiment on this, and for multiple um, people and media that have done the show are calling this the number one CES award winner of CES 2020, I wholeheartedly agree. And let's say it's $499. And that will just blow everything away, anything that's ever been made away at that price point for $4.99 and bringing it to the people. So that's what I'm all about. I'm all about greatness, the best, the best of the best, and helping people and bringing VR and AR and technology and electronics to the people at the lowest price. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'm going to do more development also and start showing you some of those videos. So please make sure to like and subscribe, comment, send friends with like minds to connect that have value. Thank you. Have a great day.